Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to our channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment, I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization, because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, some people not even sub subscribers, but I'm fine with that, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not subscribe to the channel? It's completely free. I don't have any paid memberships, any courses to sell or never will. All the content I do create, I post it completely free on the channel, including the codes and everything. So it's a win-win situation. You just have, of course, to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube, if not all of them, including the entertainment ones you watch, right? <laughs> so I I'm trying to create some value here. I'm giving you things that will help you in your future. I mean, in your career and stuff. So I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. Just a like button if this video helped you out. That's all I'm asking. And here I am again, back with another request, which is how to adjust and move the banner box and button position on your Shopify store. And yes, we will do that without using any apps or anything like that, by using our own custom code as always. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and I have here down team, which is uh, the one I do demonstrations on. Uh, in my videos, all the tricks I do share, I do demonstration in the videos on down team because it's the most used one and also it's the most requested one when it comes to requests. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other free teams, I mean the most used ones, which is Spotlight, uh, Taste Sense, Refresh and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try each one of my tricks behind the scenes on all of these. So again, even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine because I do try them behind the scenes on all of these. I don't do them, uh, that in the video, so I don't bore people. And I just have to say this in the beginning, so I give you that peace of mind. Because you might see me doing it on down team and you might be thinking it's not working for the others. No, it is. No worries. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out and see why it didn't work for you. But I'm sure it will. I'm 100% I'm sure. And without after the way, to just get to it and show you how to adjust and move the banner box and button position on your Shopify store and you can move it up or down however you want. And this is the Shopify store we're going to do the trick on and this is the Shopify store where I do all my tricks on. So everything you see on the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials. Every little thing, including the hover color here, <laughs> everything I do. Uh, that in the videos and I keep it on the Shopify store so anyone who saw it wants to do it head over to the channel you will see the video how to do it search bar anything anything but what I'm talking about is this guy right here the 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 box as you can see the banner box with the button as well so we will change the position of this guy right here we will uh, you can change it up or down however you want so we will keep this page open we will do the trick come back and see it in action as if now, you can see what it is here now. So make sure to remember what it is so you will see the changes. <laughs> so obviously get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already on Shopify dashboard, simply click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folders, you might get dizzy. Use the search bar at the top left corner. Then again, I have to repeat this on each one of my videos. So either it's gonna be base.css or team.css or style.css gonna be one of these most teams now use base.css as the name for the file but some of them use style and some of them again use team.css in my case i know it's base so i'm gonna type in base here we go base.css simply click on it bunch of css code if i said i get dollar each time i said css i'm gonna be rich let's just scroll all the way down so make sure to hit all the way down to the bottom of the file and in here we need to create some space because we're going to paste in some code and there is no space in here. In order to create that space, simply click front of the last thing, the last line, and hit enter on your keyboard and it will show us a new space in here because as I said, we need to paste in some code. And in order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, then come back to this video. I'm just joking. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link, click on it, and it will take you to this beautiful page right here with this beautiful code. So this little code will do the trick of actually uh, moving or adjusting the banner box with the button as well position 
So simply select the whole code in here, make sure to select the whole thing, then right click and copy. After that, let me zoom in in here. So we will paste it in here at the new line we did create. Here we go. So as you can see, it says here min, which stands for minimum, a height and a number. So the higher the number is, the higher the box is gonna go. I mean the banner box with the button as well. So the higher the number is, the higher they're gonna go. And the, the lower the number is, the lower they're gonna go. I mean the box, <laughs> the banner box and the button. So mine is 45. Let's just keep it as 45 and see. So let's just click on the save button, couple of seconds, save it. We'll get back in here, reload the page. Oh, where did you go? <laughs> Hold on, we will save you. So as you can see, it did all. It did go all the way up. So this is not how we want it to be. We should move it down a little bit. So uh, in order to move it, as I said, simply decrease the number. So the more you decrease the number, the lower is gonna go. So let's just do like thirty-five, maybe. Let's just do thirty-five and see. Okay, it's save it. We'll get back in here. Reload the page. Oh, as you can see, it did go down a little bit, but we want it way more high, lower than this, sorry. So let's just do just 27. Yeah, 27, I think would be perfect. I don't want it too low as it was at the default. I want it to be, is this save it? Yes, it is. So as I said, I want it to be in the middle like this. I don't want it to be lower as it was in the default. So let's just reload the page. And not so much. <laughs> let's just do 20. <laughs> 20, I will be happy with 20, I think. I hope so, at least. No changes, didn't save yet. Yeah, it is. As you can see now, now it's perfect. Yeah, now it's perfect. And that's how you adjust and move the banner box as well as the button position on your Shopify store by using a custom code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.